This is Tony Jeffries and you're watching Sporting Icons. All right, Matt, good to see you again. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. Cracking press conference there. You enjoy that? Yeah, I did. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, really well put together. Some good questions asked by yourself and the other lads. And yeah, it's, it's nearly short time, you know, two weeks out. You're, you're probably one of the most coolest people I think I've ever met. It's like nothing seems to really phase you. you just chilled. Chilled to the bone, eh? Um, does that not mean you're cool, actually? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I feel chilled, relaxed. Um, you've got to be, you know. Even uh, even on fight night, I always just seem to be just um, relaxed, you know. No point getting yourself worked up, is there? If you, you know, if you can keep keep a level head, keep it. It's just a fight at the end of the day. Exactly. It's just a fight. Just a scrap. You know. Are you going to die? Probably not. You know, it does happen the odd time, though. Boxing's a dangerous sport, isn't it? But, um, but no, you've, you've, you've just got to believe in your own ability, you know. Preparation, um, you know, fitness, everything you do leading up to the fight. The fight is won in the gym. I always say that. The fight is won, you know, when I'm sparring. It's won when I've been dieting. It's won when I've been, you know, refraining from food and drink and whatever that's when it's won it's won before I get in the ring it's what I believe well you've got Valentine's Day coming up and I know that boxers are notorious for being uh, abstinent how are you going to cope with that one? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put my lass's hip out <laughs> <laughs> no no I'm just joking um, yeah I don't know leading up to the fight week before week before but um, when's Valentine's Day? it's a couple of weeks Monday, Monday oh, champion plenty of time I've gone three times in one night <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be fighting uh, Louis Van Poch, Pucci. Um, very, very seasoned um, uh, journeyman. Very, very nice lad. Bit of a fun lad. You're looking forward to having a bit of a crack with him after the fight as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, as long as I get the win, I'm, you know, I certainly intend to. Um, I always, after every fight, first thing I want to do is go and speak to my opponent and, you know, maybe have a, have a pint with him. I'm not going to drink this time, though, you know business this year is business so uh, I'll have a glass of water with him or something I'm sure he'll have a pint well the last time I spoke to you you definitely had a couple of beers didn't you I did yeah I think I had about four or five pints I was absolutely mole because I didn't drink that much you know um, but well yeah it was good crack Christmas show but I knew I had Christmas coming up you know I had three or four weeks off nice chill time relaxing time with the family etc um, and then you know, start of this year, we're well, straight back into it. Um, and I'm feeling good, really good. So what was the uh, decision about not renewing with MTK and going with Matt Jobs? Um, well, MTK, they've never really done anything for me, to be honest. You know, I felt like I was doing the work. I was, you know, chasing fights and chasing everything, you know. I, I don't feel like they've done an awful lot for me. It was a strange setup. And Matty, as I've said um, in the press conference there, Matty's got my best interests at heart. He only wants the best from me. Um, we've got a, you know, he's got a good squad of fighters in the gym. Yeah, and they're doing something, you know, what I think will be really special. You know, they've, they've got something good building. So I'm very happy to be part of it, you know. So how many fights are you looking to have this year, ideally? As many as I can, really. But I mean, you know, four or five fights would be great if... If I can get a few wins and then get a, an area title fight sort of back end of the summer, brilliant, you know. And if I could, if I could fight for an area title within four or five professional boxing bouts, that's not bad at all. Coming from 14 unlicensed, is it? I mean, that's something. And if I could win it, hey, amazing, you know. I've, I fully intend to if it happens. But I've just got to, I've just got to keep taking these opportunities and and winning. I mean, it seems to be very, very popular. What, what's that down to? Um, is it me hair? Does it? You know, I've got a good haircut. I think it's a Teen Wolf look. I think that's maybe that's what it is. It's what the wolf man. <laughs> teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I feel. I always said from the start. You know, getting into professional boxing, I was like, you've got to have something about you. You have to have, um, you know, that wow factor. Um, but so people remember it. It's not just about boxing and being a good boxer. You have to, you know, you have to have an edge. You have to be funny. You have to be a bit controversial at times. You have to have a gimmick, you know, the wolf head mask. Because people, 
people remember it, people latch on to it, they say, oh, that was interesting, you know, we'll, we'll follow this guy, we'll get behind him, we'll come to his next fight. Um, you know, it's a short-lived career, really, a boxer's career, you've got to make the most of it. Are you likely to, I don't know, in a few fights' time, start calling people out? Potentially, yeah, yeah, you know, I've already called Greg O'Neill out again, you know, I'm sure he'll relish the chance to box again, box me again. Um, but, but yeah, I think, you know, stages, that, that, that's my goal. If I can fight for a Northern Area title, that's what I want to do. And say, I win that, brilliant, then we'll look at the next level. What's the next step? Looking at people across the country. But, you know, I'll not think about that just yet. That's the dream. If I can get to that first stage, make it happen, brilliant. Um, and then, you know, potentially, that's what we'll, we might sort of start calling names out. Who knows? I mean, when you took on Greg O'Neill last time, that was a hell of a fight. It really was. I mean, one that uh, um, you know you won quite convincingly. But um, what is it about fighting that you like? Because you seem to really enjoy it. Yeah, it's more uh, love, you know. I've just always loved fighting. I really have. I can't really explain it, you know. Some some men are fighters, some aren't, and there's nothing wrong with that if you're not. But it's just always I've, something I've had inside of me, you know. I think you're born that way, um, and there's there's nothing more satisfying than you know getting in the ring and having a proper tear up with someone and coming out on top. You know, you beat that man, you beat that man with, with you know with better skills or more heart, determination. Um, it's brilliant. I used to get in a bit of trouble when I was younger, you know, and fight on the streets. That doesn't get you anywhere. That's uh, that's a lot of shite, you know. Go to a gym, you know, to any young kid, go to a gym, learn the discipline of boxing or mixed martial arts or whatever it be, and actually do something because you get more respect doing that than, you know, any daft name, you know, on the streets fighting or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, you know, get to a gym, it's brilliant. And um, are, are you going to be having a word with the ring announcer to make sure they introduce you from Gateshead, not Newcastle next time? Yeah, I'm Gateshead, lad, my dad will kill us, he actually would next time. Say, you're not from Newcastle, man, you're from Gateshead. So, um, yeah, 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 Gateshead lad, born and bred. Um, but then we moved up to Northumberland when I was 10, so, you know, bit of a. Yeah, a bit of a country boy as well, you know. Um, so, yeah, but uh, I better say Gateshead, keep me old man happy. All right, mate, I'll catch you on the weigh in. Yeah, brilliant, that's the uh, day before, isn't it? 25th. And then I think I'll go out again that night um, and I'll have a th three, three main courses like I did last time, replenish. Um, Any pudding? I'll be pudding, yeah, yeah, I did actually. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that and I'll see you then. All right, buddy.